Hey screen printers, it's Ryan from Ryanet. Now do you ever make a mistake screen printing? I know I never do, right? Whatever, everyone makes mistakes. Well, an easy way to fix that for a screen printer is a spot cleaning gun. The spot cleaning gun is probably one of the most valuable tools for a screen printer, but it can also be the most dangerous. So this instructional video shows you how to use and maintain that spot cleaning gun. Now most people actually look at this gun as a disposable tool. They break it a lot and they buy a new one. That's great because they don't cost a lot of money, but with some simple maintenance tips we'll also show you in this video, you can make sure this gun lasts a lot longer and saves you money. First of all, let's show you how to use it. Gloves. Big deal when handling SR97 or spot cleaning fluid. It's probably one of the nastiest chemicals used in screen printing. It does a great job of cleaning out cured, uncured plastisol ink, but you don't want to get it on your hands. Second is glasses. So I'm going to put on these cool nifty glasses right here and slip on my gloves. First of all, pouring the actual chemical or the SR97 into the gun, you want to make sure that you're doing this so you're not getting chemical all over the place. So a lot of times people will open this up and it will drip all over the place. Use a rag or something to set this on so you're not dripping it all over the place, getting it on your pants or allowing it to go on an open surface where somebody can else can come and put a ungloved hand in it. Second is the chemical. These bottles, they have to ship in a metal container. You don't want to ship, we're not going to ship these, this chemical particularly in a plastic container. So do this in a vent ventilated area, but also it's a little tricky to pour out of. So we're going to put it on its side, we're going to pour into the canister and we're not going to make a mess. Typically you want to fill your gun up with a decent amount of fluid. And there we go, we got a little spillage right there. But you just want to make sure that you're doing that on a clear area. If you do spill, once again, this does evaporate fairly quickly, but you can just take a reg and then don't use that reg until it evaporates out. Once this fluid evaporates, it's going to be just fine, but you don't want to use it or don't want to get it onto ungloved surfaces or unprotected surfaces until it evaporates. So it's a bit of a trick, but getting that in, it's all clean and ready to go here. So. Now, using the gun, we do recommend using that gun with an exhauster. This is an exhausting system. We turn it on right here and actually powers the gun. We have other videos on YouTube showing the exhaust system. This helps vent a lot of the stuff. So we slide our shirt over and then you want to start the gun about 8 to 12 inches up. and then clean out your, your mess. And that actually does it a good job of evaporating or drying the shirt as well. So if you're not using this, you do want to use some type of metal container, something that you can put the shirt over and that you're not getting the chemical spilled all over the shirt. This does a good job of evaporating. Once it's evaporated, you typically don't have to worry about it. It might leave a little bit of a residue stain. On this shirt, it did not. So it depends on the garment on that one. Now let's talk about maintaining the gun. First of all, you can go to our knowledge base on our website and you can actually download this instructional PDF specific to the spot gun, which shows you the different parts, components, what to replace if you do want to replace anything, and actually talks to you about maintenance and troubleshooting. So I'm actually following this as I show this video. The thing that you want to probably do the most is actually lubing the stem. If you lube the stem, the gun actually works better. You do not want to flush this with water. It will actually make the inside components actually rust and not work very well. So once again, we don't want to use any water. We're taking the stem out. We're going to let that kind of drain all the way out there into the container. We're going to flip this upside down and we're going to put a couple drops of lubricant in it. So just a few drops of lubricant in there. And what that lubricant does is that will help lube the inside of the gun, helping it last a lot longer. You also want to make sure that this is all very, very clean. You're not getting this dirty. Um, sometimes dirt can get in the tip right there. We can unscrew that and actually blow that out. So a couple different ways to unscrew the tip. You can screw it right here and then blow that out to make sure that there's no small dirt particles, rust. You can also replace these tips. We do have these tips available if the tip does go bad. So you can take the entire tip off like so and replace it. Make sure it's all clean. There's some dirt in that one. And then make sure that you just put it together the same way that it came. Okay, once it's all screwed down, you might want to actually get a crescent wrench or something like that and make sure it's tightened all the way. Sometimes if this is not tight, you're not going to get a steady stream. 
You want to put that back in. Always make sure that everything is screwed down all the way. Once again, we're wearing gloves during this whole thing. Then we can turn it back on. And it's working just fine. So keep this guy lubed up. We're just using standard, any type of machine lube, sewing machine oil or something like that, and that works just great for this. That will actually probably make the, the gun last a lot longer, which is gonna save you money. One good point to make here is also show this video to your team, your employees, make sure that they also know how to handle this gun. Make sure to use it in a ventilated area or with exhaust system. That way you're protecting yourself and them as well. So thanks a lot for watching guys. Have a great day screen printing and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more awesome screen printing videos.